Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can see by the title, is going to be a story time on the time when I got hit by a car. Literally hit, flew across the street at eight years old and your girl survived it. Like, I'm a survivor. I am a survivor. So, if y'all don't know more about this story, make sure y'all hit that like button down below. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already. And if you are not subscribed, baby, what are you doing? Hit subscribe, join the gang, join the family, follow me on Instagram as well. And we're going to get right into this video. So, y'all, starting off with this video, I was like eight years old, right? So, when I was eight years old, I used to stay at my grandmother's house uh, a lot. Like, all the time, I would be at my grandmother's house. Um, so, it was like early in the morning, right? And, y'all, it was this corner store right by my grandma's house, right? So, me and my brother, um, I think my little cousin too, we were all, you know, we woke up one morning and we're like, yeah, let's go get something to eat, like, from the corner store. Like, first of all, I don't even know why we were trying to go to the corner store for breakfast. Like, that's not breakfast. Snacks is not breakfast. So, first of all, what was we even doing? But, yeah, like, that's what we did every day. We walked to the corner store. We got so many snacks and that's just all we did. So, it was like 11 a.m., y'all. We had just woke up. We like, yo, let's go to the store, get us something to eat, whatever. So we were getting ready to go to the store, you know, it's time to go. And me, my, I think my cousin and my brother, I'm not sure if my cousin was there, but I know me and my brother was there. I don't know if my little cousin was there though. But we were walking to the store and we got to the point where we needed to cross the street to actually get to the corner store. Y so we get there and I am just standing there and I don't know what overcame me, but, um, the light was red, right? But we were about to jaywalk. We weren't crossing at the crosswalk. So, um, we're just standing there waiting for the cars to, you know, go by, whatever. And then I see my older cousin across the street that I haven't seen in, like, such a very, very long time. I haven't seen her. So, I don't know what sparked in me that I just got so excited. And I was like, oh, my God. And then, like, I screamed her name. And then I just ran without even looking both ways, without even processing that, you know, I'm crossing the street, that it's traffic. Not even thinking or processing the fact that, you know, it's a possibility that I can actually get hit. And I did. So I'm like, oh, my God. And I screamed her name. And I went to go run. I just ran, y'all. Literally, I ran. But the thing is, the light, when that happened, the light was already red. So, the car was coming, but I was still in between where the car had to get to before it can actually stop at the red light. But, um, yeah, so the lady, I guess, like, all I heard was brakes squeaking, like, like, trying to stop, like, squeaking, though. Like, baby, she needed her brakes now, first of all, because how your brakes sound like that, like, you should be able to... If you if you have to stop while driving, you should be able to do it with an instant because anything can happen. So, um, and that's not making an excuse as to, you know, why I jumped out in front of the car. But you never know. You can be driving down the street and somebody can be driving um, or riding a bike on the sidewalk. Next thing you know, they dart out right in front of your car. You have to be able to be on 10. That's why they tell you to pay attention while driving. And you have to be able to stop with an instant, like... Or if you, if you hit them, like, you know, that's just something. You don't want to hit nobody. Like, I'm telling you right now, like, you do not want to hit anybody while driving. Like, even if it is an accident or whatever, you don't want to deal with that. You don't want that on your conscience. You don't want that on your mind that you just hit somebody. Like, you don't want that. So, yeah, you should be able to stop. But anyway, I'm running out across the street. And all I hear is brakes just squeaking. Skrr, that's all I hear. Next thing I know, y'all, I blacked out. Um, I heard brakes squeaking. Then I heard my brother yelling my name, trying to tell me to stop. And then all I see in front of me is just my cousin standing there looking at me at the opposite on the other side of the street. Next thing I know, I blacked out, y'all. Um, she hit me. I think she was probably going about 20. So it's not too fast, but I was 8 years old. And I'm literally like a stick. Like, I'm literally built like like this like i was so tiny so scrawny so bony i'm fragile like i'm literally eight so she hit me and i blacked out i flew across the street next thing i know i open my eyes um i see my brother standing in my face my cousin standing in my face i hear people screaming um 
and I got like hit kind of right in front of a hair salon because the corner store is like right next to a hair salon so I got um hit right in front of the hair salon and like the woman in the hair salon they were like looking out in the blinds like oh my god a little girl just got hit by a car somebody called 911 somebody called 911 people are just screaming and I that's all I hear but like I can hear people what they're saying but my ears are like ringing and muffled because I'm just like in complete shock then I didn't process what actually just happened that I literally just got hit by a truck like it was a whole truck y'all like I don't know if I said that or not I've probably been saying car but like it it's a truck <laughs> um yeah so and if I can find like a picture of like a similar type of truck um it is I will put it on the screen but like this is a this is a good size truck that I got hit by and um yeah so that happened and I'm just on the ground you know, I kind of open my eyes, my vision is blurred, my ears is muffled, I can't really hear, I can't really see, I'm just out of it. I feel like my face is like swollen or puffy, I feel like something is wrong, but like I can't really understand like what's going on because like my body is like in a complete shock like, like bitch what did you just do, like what, what, what just happened to me, like you know. So um, next thing I know, my father came and my brother called my father he um contacted everybody my mom next thing i know my uncles is there my grandma because we literally just came from the, my grandma's house so everybody's like running down the street to like see like yo what's going on whatever so yeah next thing i know an ambulance is there i'm getting rushed at the hospital um and i looked in I don't know how I figured out that my lip was like a mess, but like y'all, my face, when I tell you my face literally was like this. It was so swollen, so big, and like my lip was like literally busted open. My bottom lip was fat as a pickle, so big, busted open and swollen. I guess um what had happened was the lady when she was driving her right her right near her side mirror is what had hit me and when i flew so it hit me like in the face and then i flew and then hit the sidewalk so whatever happened that's what people said that's what happened um and yeah so i flew and my lip was fat as a pickle it was busted open bleeding all that y'all when i tell y'all i cried cry 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 i thought i was so ugly i thought it would never go away i was like oh my god i'm gonna have to live like this i'm gonna have to go to school like this and i actually had to go to school like that like my face was swollen probably for about a week and a half and i had to go to school my mouth was so big y'all it was y'all i just didn't know what to do with myself i didn't think that it would ever go down like, and i'm really surprised to this day that my lip actually would now but I do still have like a little scar like you can't really see it like unless you're like all up in my face but I do still have like a scar on the side of my lip um where it was busted open at and all of that but yeah I ended up being rushed to the hospital next thing I know you know I'm still very confused um I don't really know what's going on and so next thing I know I see my father's girlfriend comes and she's like crying and like scared like oh my god i thought something serious like really bad happened and i see my mom walk in and she's just like how did y'all let her get hit you know blame everybody you know play the blame game because my mom don't play about me so she was like you know how did y'all let my baby get hit because like i'm the youngest for my on my mom's side so my mom was like snapping like she blacked out like how did y'all let her get hit what is going on xyz she had to um leave work y'all to come to the hospital it was crazy so yeah um that happened i'm at the hospital i think i had went home with my mom i'm not really sure what happened after that but just know for a long time i was very very traumatized like i did not want to walk on the sidewalk i was like I don't know like y'all when I seen trucks I was like going the opposite direction I didn't want to cross the street I didn't want to walk to the store I didn't want to do nothing and even if I did want to they would not let me walk to the store anymore with my cousins anymore like if I wanted something from the store I had to ask somebody you know like um well obviously I would have had to ask anybody anyways because I was only eight but I would have to ask them like 
to get this for me like or telling them like this is what I want and here's my two dollars if you can go get it for me from here um and yeah that's just what it was yeah and it was really crazy and still to this day like I cannot I cannot believe like that happened to me like I cannot believe that happened that's actually crazy but yeah that's pretty much it for this story time i really hope y'all enjoyed this video i love y'all so much and i will see y'all in my next one make sure y'all follow me on all of my social media in the description box down below and i will see y'all in my next video peace